folder so i'm gonna for file a new and then you choose the directory here first i'm gonna browse the location the location where is the where my footprints are available the footprint location so double click and then click open so it should be the package symbol the drawing type should be package symbol so keep the package symbol and before that i'm gonna give uh, the file name that is uh, the file name uh, which I'm going to give is a header and the package symbol is the design drawing type so first we have to do is uh, to set the location and then give the name of the drawing and then uh, choose the drawing type as package symbol I'm gonna click OK so this find I'm um, just uh, giving it to uh, fold it so it will be folded here and uh, if you want to fold all you can fold this way so you can choose uh, those steps whenever you require so here you can see uh, the part uh, the component details here the part detail uh, that the footprint location uh, the location is saved here and the header dot drawing file so as soon as you come here you go for the design uh, setup design and go to display options uh, you can choose what are the layers if you want to see it so currently i'm going to click all on in the display announcement mode so and then click apply so go to design section to uh, set the units here so in this units i'm going to change it to millimeters because i'm all having in millimeters the extent uh, keep it uh, like 500 and click apply so if you want to change the grid here so come back to the display options you have a grids option here so click on the setup grids it's around 2.54 i'm changing it to 4 mils that is 0.1 mm it's more than enough so i'll click ok and then click ok so once you ok here so this is the this place where we are going to create the footprint of the two two pin header the next thing we have to go for the setups here and you have to tell where is my uh, pad of this particular footprint so we have to assign the pad path here go to user preferences click on the user preferences so it will open you the paths here so go to paths then click on a library so here in the library choose the pad path here click on the browse and choose the pad path and double click here go to uh, the browse options in the desktop i got a footprint folder click ok so this is my folder i'll click ok and the same thing i'm going to add it for the psm file that is package symbol module so once we save the drawing file the package symbol for, for file will generate automatically so it is the path of that particular psm fold pfm file so click apply and then click ok so here uh, we have to uh, design with respect to origin so we have to find out my where is origin here so origin usually there here in the zero zero section so this is the part where it is the zero zero section if you want to move the origin go to setup here and change the drawing origin so i'll click it somewhere here you can see a small uh, point here that is the origin if you want to zoom it you just use the mouse scroller to zoom in so it is zooming in. otherwise you have a buttons option here zoom in and zoom out so you can use zoom in and zoom out so this is the origin with respect to origin we are going to add the pins so to add the pins here we have an option called add pin in the icon so click on the add pin now immediately immediately you have to go to the options just next to uh, the right side so once you click the command always you come back to options here uh, to set what of what component you need from the add pin so add pin so click on the options here and so click on the add pins here i'm going to click on the add pins just go to the options here so here in this option so just get into the options so in the options click on the pad stack so we choose a header one mm drill and two mm pad so this is one mm drill and then two mm pad so how much we need we need two as a quantity and the pitch between those two is 2.54 and the pin number starts with one and increment by one and the offset we make it zero to get the pin number exactly on the center of the pad so i'm going to click on uh, the origin of uh, the component yes this is uh, that one mm drill and two mm pad and more than uh, more above, above that we have a 
keep out so to keep out you can even neglect when if you don't want the keep out of the particular path you can uh, you should not give it otherwise give it to zero so it won't appear here so the next step is to the next step is to move the origin uh, between these two uh, pads here so i'll use the Measure option click first pad and the second pad you can see 2.54 and the half of the 2.54 will be 1.27 so go to setup design parameters in the design section in the move option i'm going to move 1.27 mm uh, towards the x-axis so that the origin will come exactly at the center of the two pads next one is to add the as assembly top assembly top for the header is around this 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 could be the assembly top of the header pin so this is around 2.54 into the number of pins that is 2 and this side is 2.54 so this is around 5.08 this is a 2.54 so how do we add it so go to add option click on the line so here in the go, come to options in the options choose the package geometry and then assembly top so the line lock will make it 90 degree and the line width must be at least 4 to 5 meters. So I'm going to give 0.1 and line font you make it solid. So click wherever you uh, want on the screen and just get back to the command here. In the command section, I'm going to add towards x axis. This should be around uh, 5.08, that is uh, twice the 2.54, and towards y axis, iy. This is 2.54. It's enough. So just click it right click down and this is your assembly top next one is to move the assembly top to the center so to move assembly top so we click on the move option so next you have to go to uh, the find option in the find option you have to choose in the find option you have to choose uh, all of and choose only lines because uh, the assembly top is a line that which we created earlier so this is the line package geometry assembly top is the class so to move it so when i click on it so it will move wherever we click on it but we cannot exactly arrange uh, to the center so what we have to make it so go to the options here and here uh, sorry go to the options here in the point section choose the body center in the option selection choose the body center and then click on the assembly line so it is switched to center the so origin comes to the center of the assembly top now we just zoom it to the origin and click it on the exact origin so the assembly top will be aligned to center of the body next one is to add silk screen top silk screen top at least it should have a 0.5 mm or a minimum 20 to 25 mils away from the assembly or any copper so some of the industries use 10 mils away from the copper or 10 mils away from the assembly so here we will use around 20 to 25 mils away from the assembly or the copper so what i have to do is i will add manually so i'll go to add here add line so in the options uh, choose package geometry and then sell screen top so 90 degree i'll make the minimum line width is 5 to 6 mils according to ipc okay, 5 mils i'll draw outside just a hand drawing is enough and then click it right click done so again we have to move the assembly to the exact center of the body that's enough next one is to add the place bound top from the silk screen so place bound top place bound top must be uh, away from at least 25 to uh, 30 mils away from the silk screen outside the silk screen should be like this 25 to 30 mils so a uh, quite different different uh, procedure here the place bound top i'll go to file here sorry edit here z copy shape we will take it so in the options we will choose package geometry and then place bound top so here we'll expand the size of 1 mm offset that is around so not 1 mm offset it should be 0 0.635 that is around 20 25 mils i will use 25 mils uh, 0 0.635 expand means outside the silk wherever you click on 
and contract means uh, inside wherever you click on. so i'm going to click on the save screen and this is your place born top apart from this you will be having uh, you'll have to add the reference designator uh, to uh, this footprint so the reference designator to be added uh, twice here one is for assembly and one is for silk so go to the reference designator here go to the label reference label reference here click on the label reference in the reference designator assembly top so I'm going to choose a text block of uh, four or five and then click on the assembly top. So it is quite bigger. So I will choose uh, one and we will check it. Yes, one is enough. So we'll add R star is my reference. And also I will add reference to the silk screen top and then click on the silk screen top. It is also R star. So right click done. And now you can see here, you will have click on the save option. So here in the command bar, command bar you can see uh, the drawing file is created here. That is header.tra is saved to the disk and symbol header.psm is created. So this PSM information which we need, I will copy the PSM, go to the schematic here. So right click on the DSN file and then click on the object property to object property. So in the edit object property, uh, come to the footprint location in the footprints it is j1 we have created i'm gonna paste it and remove the psm and just only keep the name the header that's all this is how we are going to add the footprint to the schematic